So you're on the hunt for the best neighborhoods in Florida. Maybe you're considering moving from another state or you already live in Florida and need to move to a new area. Either way, I have a question that I would love to ask before you potentially make one of the biggest mistakes of your life. Are you asking the right question? Now listen, we all wanna live in a great neighborhood, but the real question is how do you get it right the first time? Because trust me, no one wants to move twice. In his best-selling book, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey says that one of the most important habits is to begin with the end in mind. This means starting with a clear understanding of your destination. But when it comes to moving, you wanna go one level deeper because you wanna get this right the first time. And in order to do that, we've gotta ask better questions. In today's video, I'll share the top three questions you need to ask to make sure that you get the best neighborhoods in Florida for you. And the reason I'm making this video is almost five years ago to the day, Kate and I packed up our family and took a leap of faith. We packed up our family of five and moved 1,200 miles south to the Sunshine State. Now here's the kicker. We didn't know anyone living in Tampa Bay and only a few people in the entire state. But that didn't stop us. And honestly, it's been the best decision we've ever made. My goal with today's video is to make sure you learn exactly how to make the right decision the first time. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed realtor and the team leader with the True Living Group where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the state of Florida. And most importantly, home to us, which is the greater Tampa Bay area. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. There are two ways to do that. You can leave a comment in the description down below. Would love to hear from you. Let us know where you're watching from first and foremost. Secondly, there is a link to my calendar where you can schedule time that is most convenient for you. So do not hesitate to reach out. Me and my team have got your back. Now, Florida is a huge state covering over 65,000 square miles and has over 8,500 miles of beautiful, stunning coastline. This covers both the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Over 22 million people call the Sunshine State home. Our culture and communities are as diverse as the people who live here, the state's geography, and the weather, which are all considerations when making a move, right? So if we're gonna follow Mr. Covey's advice and begin with the end in mind, the very first and most important question you should be asking is, what is my ideal lifestyle? If you've ever moved before, you know that a house is nothing more than four walls, roof, window, and doors, right? It's literally that simple. There are boxes that are domiciles to say the least. They don't become a home until you make it one. And part of that is understanding how are you going to live in the community that surrounds this? Now, over the last two years, I have helped hundreds of people relocate to the state of Florida. And one of the most important questions and the one we always start with is, what is your ideal lifestyle? Because listen, you can find a really nice home. I mean, an incredible home, your dream home, and it can be put in the wrong location very quickly. And what I mean by this is like, you know, it's very easy to get fooled online. You hop over to Zillow or Redfin or Realtor, whatever site you're using, and you start seeing these photos. And then you see a gorgeous home. Maybe it's a, a ranch style home, a single story, or maybe it's a colonial. You want a two story home and it's four bedrooms and it's got a beautiful brand new kitchen. It's updated. The bathrooms are super gorgeous. It's got a pool, everything you could always ask for. But what you can't see in those photos is that four doors down, Pookie and the boys have a car up on blocks in the neighborhood. And listen, y'all, if you've ever moved anywhere before, you know very quickly that neighbors have a dramatic influence on where you live. So in order to get this as right as we possibly can, what we want to start with is what is our ideal lifestyle? And why do I say that? Because if you're someone who wants to be around the beaches, who loves the sun, maybe you're active in lifestyle, maybe you're a runner, maybe you like um, biking on the weekends, maybe you're you know, a pickleball enthusiast, the, the best way to ensure that you are picking the right area for you is to start with your ideal lifestyle. And the reason that that is important is because if that is your ideal lifestyle, then the people in that community probably have a very similar appeal, right? If they love pickleball, they're probably gonna be in an area that supports that type of lifestyle. If they love doing walks on the beaches, they're probably gonna be in an area that supports that type of lifestyle. And these questions are so important. I swear to you, if you get this one right, it helps you unlock the rest. So let me give you a few prompts that will help you better answer this lifestyle question. Do you prefer urban to suburban? 
right? Are you active? Like we said before, do you want to be near the beach? Do you Are you a water baby? Are you a theme park person? Because Orlando could be a really good spot for you. Here in Tampa, we have Bush Gardens. They're not the same thing, right? But they give you options to do that. Um, you know, what type of amenities do you like? We talked about pickleball. Do you play tennis? Are you actively involved in clubs in your community? These are questions that you really want to be asking because if you love social clubs and you move into a community that does not support that at all, you are going to be miserable and you are going to want to move. And that is not what we're looking to do. The cool part is, is when you answer this lifestyle question first, it will then allow you to better answer the next two questions that I'm going to give you. Now, the second question you need to be asking yourself is for what? What is the best neighborhood for blank? You just answered the lifestyle questions, right? You probably went through a whole bunch of different ideas. I love to brainstorm, write it all down on a piece of paper. And those answers that you got here, now you can plug those into the for what question. What is the best neighborhood for boating? What is the best neighborhood for bike riding? What is the best neighborhood for being a runner? What is the best neighborhood for living near the beach? What is the best neighborhood for X, Y, and Z? These are all super important questions, but you need to go deeper, right? What is the best neighborhood for growing a family? What is the best neighborhood for young working professionals? What is the best neighborhood for singles? These are all questions we have to ask ourselves so we can correctly identify the right communities that will support that lifestyle. And the third question on this list, and I really think it should be 1A, is who is the person that is most uniquely equipped to guide me to my goal. And I heard this incredible quote last year when I was listening to Ed Milet's podcast, and it was by a gentleman uh, by the name of Rory Vaden. And Rory said this quote, and it literally stopped me in my tracks because when I heard it, I knew it was true. He said, you are most uniquely designed to serve the person that you once were. And when I heard him say that, I was like, oh man, because we had already been working for a year and a half, right, going out, learning everything about the greater Tampa Bay area, scouring the city, and I've been documenting that journey along the way. That's how this YouTube channel was born. Not only that, almost five years ago to this day, like I told you earlier, I packed up my family and did the same thing. We relocated to an area that we didn't know anyone in. And what I didn't know at the time was that was gonna position me, right, in a situation where I could help guide people just like you to make better decisions about making moves. And it's been an absolute blessing. Like over the last two years, literally Literally, we've had hundreds of people reach out to us about this, right? They jump on a Zoom call. We talk about how to help them fulfill that dream. Maybe they're looking to move to the beach. Maybe Tampa's not the right spot for them. They end up in Jacksonville or Miami or Orlando or the Panhandle, right? Or Cape Coral. We help them move all around the state. And it's been a huge blessing. But the thing that I want to help you understand is I didn't have channels like this, right? These things didn't exist when we made the move five years ago. You know, this is a newer endeavor. And there's lots of channels out there now that do this type of thing. But it's been an absolute blessing in our world. So first of all, I want to thank you, the viewer. Secondly, I want to thank everyone who's trusted us. But I also want to give you guys some tools to help you kind of achieve this. Now, um, when I did this, this journey, when we decided we were going to make this move, we had a few areas that we were targeting. We were looking at Jacksonville. We were looking at an area called Deltona, which is about an hour northeast of um, Orlando. We looked at Orlando for just a hot second. We thought we were gonna live in Stewart. My father-in-law lives in Jensen Beach near the Port St. Lucie area on the Atlantic coast. And for almost eight years, we believed we were gonna make the move there. But we ended up in Tampa. And it really wasn't the even, I think it was number five on our list, to be honest with you. We knew we weren't gonna live in uh, Miami. And uh, Sarasota, Cape Coral, they just weren't kind of a, a really good fit for us. But here's what I did. I went to Google, searched through everything, right? I was looking at uh, economic growth. I was looking at jobs. I was looking at um, what is the industry? I was looking at, are they growing? Are they getting younger? These are all things that were important to us, right? Education, there's a lot of factors that go into this and having a guide who can better help you understand those areas is important because there aren't many people um, who go out and scour and literally go through every piece of a city and bring back the information that you need to make a qualified decision, but they exist. And connecting with those people is super important. Now, if you wanna reach out to us, like I said, all my contact information is listed down below, but don't hesitate to ask questions, y'all. You know, this is a big decision. And I always tell people, like when we're on a Zoom call and we're having conversations, the one thing that I'm never gonna be able to do is put your mind completely at ease. I would love to sit here and say I can do that, but let's be honest, y'all. 
making those types of decisions where you're moving across state, or heck, you could be moving across the city. This is part of the process. It is always going to feel like you're standing on jello. But if you get it right, you can be confident, right, in your decision and never have to move twice because there is nothing you want to do less than pack up your home, discover you made the wrong decision because you weren't community focused. You're only focused on the house. And I'm telling you right now, Florida is extremely diverse and it is also very unforgiving in specific ways, right? Weather is one thing, you know, uh, cultural and community fits. These are important things to people, right? And this is something that we need to take into account. It's about lifestyle, right? If you know exactly what you want your life to look like, it is very easy to find what that is. If you don't know, right, wherever you go, there you are. What is it Chest Iron Cat said? You know, when he asked Alice in Wonderland, you know, which, where are you headed? And she's like, well, I don't know. He said, well, either way will do. Then it really doesn't matter which way you go. <laughs> right? So I hope this video helped. I'm going to put two videos here that I think will help you better make a decision as well. And again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.